We're here to show you how to give soccer fluids for a kitty cat and it's the same if it's a dog. The same thing is just that this patient is smaller than a dog. I'm getting ready with a new needle to change it. I just got it from here. 18 gauge needle. I'm just going to take the old one and replace it for the new one. Each time that you get fluids it's good to have a brand new needle in order to uh, keep it aseptic for your kitty cat and don't bring infections to the kitty cat. I'm going to give him his fluids right now. They have free skin, a lot of free skin here on top of the shoulder blades. So you just have to lift this area. See how they have a lot of free skin? Then you just lift that and insert the needle gently parallel to the spine like that. You don't go any angles. You just go straight with the needle and make sure that you open the key here from the line that is connected to this bag that contains the fluids and then it has this accessory keys that also you can unlock and then you see how the fluids start running into the patient that is my kitty cat Tyson right here and he says please come for this procedure because he's very used to this he was diagnosed with a renal failure and in order for him to control the high kidney values on his blood he needs this so cute fluids to be done once a day, every day. See? So the fluids are forming a little bubble of water that are the fluids that are going underneath his skin and then when I finish to give him his fluids it's gonna have a little bubble here under the skin. But it's gonna be just um like a small bubble under the skin and then they're going to be absorbed by his body and they're going to be used to little by little so when you give fluids to your cat or dog don't be afraid that there's going to be a little bubble afterwards but it's normal the bubble will dissolve and will be absorbed better than dissolve I mean absorbed by the body and distributed to the body where it needs to go so Tomorrow won't be any bubble here under the kitty skin.